Hello, and welcome to the U-Shaped Business Show, where we feature self-employed business owners who run innovative, unique, and personal businesses. I'm your host, Patty Kay, and today I am super excited to welcome Karen and Lucy to the show. Welcome, Karen. Thanks, Patty. I'm so excited to be here talking about uh, business with you. Terrific. Well, speaking of business, how about you tell us all a little bit about uh, what do you do? Who do you serve? How do you help them? What's the scoop? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, my business name is Birthright Investment and people step back and go, oh, is that about babies? And I go, <laughs> no, actually, your birthright is your body. And my uh, business serves people in teaching them how to invest in their body, physically, emotionally, and nutritionally, and who to go to in the community in terms of practitioners. There's amazing practitioners in the community. And uh, people need to know how to start to access them for their own health and well-being. And I want to serve that need that I have been um, aware of for the last 23 years as I'm a practitioner of uh, Pilates rehab mm -hmm. and trained in manual osteopathy. So I, I combine my services in terms of serving the individual, but I also am expanding to workshops to teach people about their body. Okay. So, so you're, so you're not just working with clients individually, then you're also connecting them to other practitioners. So with the workshops that I'm now um, expanding into, I can have a, a larger reach and teach people about their bodies and actually give them self-care tools and teach them how, who to look for in their community for practitioners to really get them on their health and well-being path. Right. So, so um, tell me a little bit more about this getting in touch with your body thing. What, what does that mean exactly? What is? Well, um, yeah, that's amazing. So for the course of our life, we have um, possible genetic predispositions that may um, affect our physical well-being. We could have had injuries or surgeries or emotional traumas, distress, um, obviously nutritional deficiencies that all impact how we move in the world. Mm. And I'm a body centered practitioner in as much as I came to Pilates because of an injury many years ago. Mm -hmm. And Pilates has served me very well for my own physical well being. There was a piece missing in that I had a fall on my tailbone when I was probably mm. in my late twenties and that caught up with me in my late 40s and 50s, where the back of my head was going numb. Mm. And uh, how was I going to deal with that? I thought maybe um, chiropractic or massage or what was I going to do for myself? And the interesting part of that was I went to a neurologist mm. and said to the neurologist, you know, like, this is weird. I've got this numbness in the back of my head. And he said, oh, well, you have helmet head. And I went, oh, well, that's interesting, helmet head. What does that mean exactly? Mm -hmm. And he said, well, that's what happens when workmen or work people wear hard hats for their work. I said, oh, well, that's interesting because like, I don't wear a helmet. <laughs> yeah. Right? And so that left me with really no other resource to attend to what my problem was. And that's where I got involved with osteopathy in 2010. And the light bulbs went on in respects of, oh, that fall that I had on my tailbone in my, you know, late 20s. Um, it relates to, you know, other parts of my body. And now I was looking at cranial sacral work. And I'm not sure if a lot of people have heard of that, but osteopathy uh, entails cranial sacral as it does all the inner workings of the body. And what I learned from osteopathy is that practitioners don't fix you. Mm -hmm. They open the door for your body to do its own magic of healing. And so it's finding the right practitioner to open that door for you so that your body can optimize what it can do for your health and well-being. Right. The, the, the... 
the point you're making uh, about the problem is appearing in one part of your body your body like the symptom is showing up in one place but the actual exactly. cause of it is somewhere else in your body it's it, it's often the case especially if there's been long-term dysfunction um, the body compensates the body always wants to do the best it can and um, if we don't attend to those injuries or um, tissue restrictions, then other areas will become symptomatic. And so then we go and we go to a massage therapist just because our shoulder is sore yeah. and um, they're working on your shoulder and it feels better after the treatment, but it's not progressively getting better. And in fact, the whole shoulder problem might be the fact that the spine is actually um, stiff and rigid and the muscles that attach the shoulder with the spine mm -hmm. are not able to do their job. So, you know, does that practitioner have the ability to look at the other areas of the body and attend to them? Or do you need to go to a physio or a chiro or an osteo to get the joints moving properly so that the muscles can release? And then you're going to get more benefit from the massage therapist or even doing stretching or self-release with a ball, like having your own self-care tools as well. But you know, it's so confusing. People are at a loss of, well, the pain is in one location, as you said, but that could be the tip of the iceberg or it could actually be the area of concern. And um, what I teach in my workshops is how to chart your body, like really write down what your history has been so that when you go to a holistic practitioner, if they've got uh, a real large tool bag, they can go, oh, this piece and this piece and this piece are linked together. I can work with these pieces, but you know, you need to go and see this other person, practitioner that has a different expertise in order to complement what we're doing here. And so my job is to interface and really help people know which practitioners to go to, to get them started, to get the most bang for their buck, not only with their money, pocketbook but with their body respond responding yeah yeah absolutely and the, the the time and effort that's invested to do that kind of work and uh, yeah there's a lot of confusion out there there's a and there are so many different types of practitioners so many mm -hmm. modalities and how do you know which one is the right one for you and i gather that that's the the problem that you're solving for people is helping them figure out um, mm -hmm. you know where it, I'm, I'm getting a sense that it's really about um, helping people really understand their own body so that they're, yes. they're able to uh, help their practitioner help them. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Great. Great. So, so tell me, um, when it comes to your business, what, what is it, you know, what, is there a why by you know you told us a little bit about your personal story is that the why is there something else about your business that lights you up about it what what gets you excited to go to work in your business in the morning <laughs> uh definitely my why is i really have difficulty seeing people struggle with their um inability to move or or function the way they want to that I just want to be a part of them enjoying life, enjoying their body. And, and that's where I was having difficulty with my injuries is that I was um, closing off. Well, I can't do that. It's painful. And I hear this story all the time. Well, um, you know, I don't want to do that because it hurts. And I, um, mm -hmm. I'm not able to go. I, I just have a new client. She's in her nineties and she is an avid dancer. She had a fall and they're telling her, well, that, you know, you're 90, you shouldn't be expecting to go and do these things mm -hmm. anymore. And I'm saying, no, you had a fall. You need to get the injury <laughs> rehabbed so that you're not cut off from doing those wonderful things you want to do. So that's my um, wake up in the morning enjoyment is as I've been discovering my own ahas of Oh, I can feel that joyfulness in my body again. I can do those activities again. When and realizing that uh, our body isn't as limited as our brain 
perceives that it, it is. And that when people are doing an exercise or a movement and they go, oh, this feels better. Mm. I, I just go, yeah, I get that. <laughs> I understand because I can see actually how you're connecting yeah. better. And for you, for them to acknowledge for themselves, well, that was easy. And I go, I have an easy button, a staples easy button. And yes. I just punch my easy button and it goes, and there's just this inner inner joyfulness for me to witness that in somebody and to really see that they're understanding that life is not over and that, you know, their body can function in, in ways that they never expected to again, or that they're going to re regain their ability to do an activity that they just really love to do. Exactly. That's, that's so inspiring. It's like, yes, you can, you can continue to dance into your nineties. Exactly. <laughs> How awesome is that? I know. <laughs> and for me to hear her come to me and say, no, you know, she's been told that basically just suck it up and that's it. And she's going, no, I don't no. want to. I don't <laughs> want to stay, first of all, which is great. And then the other thing is, okay, it's going to take some time for you to really regain. Because in all cases, injuries happen within split seconds. The rehab is always some time to recover, um, to get the alignment back, to get the muscle strength back, depending again on how long things have been or what the extent of the injury is. But yeah, there's amazing discoveries now. I, I watched a program couple a month or so ago a um, uh, quadriplegic fellow major accident told him to never walk again and he said well, I don't think so I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be back in action and here he was at uh, was a climb in Whistler it was a mountain climb and he was going for it he was climbing the stairs and he said yeah he just did his rehab and I hear I love hearing those inspirational stories that's that is amazing Mm -hmm. And it, I, I'm not saying it's for everyone. I'm not saying that, you know, that's, I, who knows what's possible? That's right. really, right? It, who knows what one individual can set their mind to and how they attend to their body mm -hmm. to, to really enjoy the quality of life that um, gives them fulfillment. Right. And it, yeah. in, individual for, for every person. But yes, absolutely. It's quite possibly more and better than what you have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So this is the U-shaped business show. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about, you know, how you, you know, what's the spin of you that you put on in, into your business? What do you do that's uh, different or uh, unique uh, from or maybe what other people in your field do, or do you have a different approach? What is, uh, you know, where do you add your personality? What's your, what's your, your secret you sauce? <laughs> <laughs> well, for sure, my secret you sauce is all the self discovery work that I have done that I can work with my clients and see or help them through the different areas that they might be stuck in and direct them um, so that they are attending to what their needs are and and how I do that is um, I have a, quite an extensive toolbox so I can work on some emotional things not on a really traumatic level but in a way that lets them experience the release of the emotion that's blocking their ability to move. Yeah. I can, um, because of my manual training now, I, I always do a, an assessment of my clients when they come in the door. Mm -hmm. So my clients might have been gardening the day before or orienteering or they had a little fall or something happened. So that can have disrupted their alignment. So mm -hmm. I can test and see where that dysfunction is um, coming from mm -hmm. to a technique with them so that they're now able to mechanically move better and get the most benefit out of their workout. Mm -hmm. So I combine um, manual treatment with active therapy. And I, there's not a lot of that going on um, in terms of 
full meal deal uh, functioning. Um, you know, I can touch on saying, if I see that a person is really inflamed in their body, I had a, a, a gal come to me and basically she was having difficulty sitting at her desk all day working. Mm -hmm. And um, she wasn't able to hardly walk from her car to the house and definitely not able to walk down the block. Mm -hmm. She wanted to be active with her husband. She wanted to be her life back. Yeah. So she came to me to, to exercise and mm -hmm. I said, mm, I'm not the person for you to see. You need to get the inflammation down in your body. Here's the name of a naturopathic doctor. I'd like you to go mm -hmm. to that person. She did. And I happened to know her. And it probably took her a year because there was eating disorders and various other mm -hmm. things that I didn't know about. But basically, inflammation was a big cause for her of dysfunction. So now she's dancing and hiking and playing cards. Um, she's an active crib cribbage participant and, and I never did see her for exercise. And that's great. You know, that's my goal. That's my goal is what is it that you need that I might be able to help you find to really enjoy the quality of life that you want. So I think that that's my, my little special sauce is that I've had a lot of life experience. Mm -hmm. I uh, delve into many therapies and not only try it for myself, but under, have a, an understanding of it to, to the extent of saying to somebody, hmm, you know, I really think that there's more of a nutritional or emotional component. These are practitioners you can go to. This is what I can help you with for your own self-care because I'm very much, um, I think that's important that we have our own toolbox of self-care, which is what my workshops teach people as mm -hmm. does my private practice. Mm -hmm. and. I believe that that's why I have my repeat clients and my referrals. They, people come to me um, through word of mouth. And so I, I would say that that's why they come to me because they've heard somebody else has had benefited in a way that they, yeah, they're back doing what they need to do and they want their friends to have the same type of experience. So. Well, isn't that just, you know, the best way to market your business really is, you know, it, it building, you know, I always say build no leg and trust. That's uh, so important. And when you do something like that, when you say to somebody, it like, I, I'm not the right person for you. You really need, um, you need this over there. And here's somebody who can help you is that goes a long way towards building trust with somebody. Um, and it's, it's, comes from a place of service. So uh, yay you, yay you for doing business in that way. I love it. <laughs> I, I like to think, what if everybody did business that way? Can you imagine how lovely things would be? <laughs> well, I think it's occurring more and more, Patty. I think that we are recognizing that each of us has our skills and talents and, and, and we can honor them for ourselves and, and recognize that other people have great skills and talents and let's you know resource each other as needed there's lots of room for everyone to practice what they do well and and really hone your what you do well and offer that in a, with integrity absolutely absolutely and when we um when we look at the like you know um in the wellness in terms of wellness practitioners and the number of modalities that are available and the vast variety and all of the confusion from the from the perspective of somebody looking for those kinds of services it's like the more those people succeed the more they put their marketing out there the more they educate the more they refer to each other it's it's a rising tide lifts all of the boats uh, yeah. You know, the more people who are successful in this, the more the word spreads, the more people rave about to their friends. It's like, oh, I couldn't walk. <laughs> now look at me. I'm dancing. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's it's amazing. And, and that's, you know, we're not um, we're not getting those kind of results from conventional medicine. And, you know, we need to um, really raise the the uh, raise the volume and the visibility on on the alternatives. And uh, so, yay you for. For that thank you and and I really um, there's a place for all of that healing mm -hmm. in terms of what the medical profession offers is is so valuable 
for diagnostics and for critical. And um, there's a lot of holistic practitioners now that it's expanding, as you said. And I think because there is that huge need, we want the real answers of um, how is my body uh, needing to function and what's causing the dysfunction and can I work in that aspect first before I just try and put a pill in to calm the pain. I may need the pill to calm the pain, but that's not going to give me the healing that optimally, in my mind, is what I would want for myself. And that's, you know, I'm, I'm thinking a lot more people want that for themselves now too. And it, it does take a pers- each individual um, awareness to change and recognize that I, uh, self-care is not a luxury. It's a necessity for the health of us now and into the future. And the more we understand um, what our history has been in our dysfunction that's occurring now, that will actually be a, a huge stepping stone in understanding which practitioners to go to and wow. how, to, how to resolve if if you can, to what extent you can resolve and optimize Mm -hmm. what's available in terms of our body, because our body wants to move and it wants to function. So uh, there's lots of different layers and we need to learn how to attend to them and be responsive to those signals that we get. Mm -hmm. So what I say is we need to listen to our pain signals and attend to them sooner rather than later and be responsive and um, build and nurture our pleasure uh, sensations so that we are really feeling that joyful well-being that our body wants. Right. That's the the whole other, the whole other side of it, right? It's, you know, we tend to look for, you know, pain is what causes us to, to take notice, but yes, on the other side of that, there's the, um, the pleasure and the pleasure and the joy. Exactly. Exactly. And we, we need to learn how to access that and, um, and really honor that place of uh, life-giving, nurturing that that pleasure, joy gives us. Yeah. Awesome, excellent. So, in terms of business, <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of business, what you know, if you could go back in time, you know, in your business back, you know, maybe to the beginning or to maybe some some place in your business where you learned something maybe the hard way um, or you you know made it through something that was challenging is there uh, you know if you could go back in time what kind of advice do you have a nugget of advice for prior you or do you have a piece of advice that you could give to uh to our viewers who are are you know who run run a business of their own like what what's your what's your golden advice that you could offer us (laughs) Well, definitely for me as a practitioner of well-being, I have not honored um, my value in my service and so mm-hmm. tended to not really want to charge people because I, I really want people to be well. So um, I am learning still that I need to have a better sense of the value of what of the service that I offer and be able to charge monetarily and not feel badly charging monetarily. So I think it's really, really important uh, to have a good business um, model of how to run a business in place and um, know what your bottom line is in terms of your own financial needs. Uh, going forward, not just getting your business started, but going forward for the future. I think that's incredibly important. And I think it's a, I know it's a piece that I missed and um, didn't think it was okay or necessary. And I, I realized that, you know, it's a big, it's, it's an issue that uh, is important. It's, um, it's self-care for your business, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, you know, because if, if you're not compensated for doing the work that you do, you can't do it in the world. And it's, you know, um, we, we need, we need businesses that are making a positive contribution to well-being. Like, mm-hmm. That's, that, that, that's what we need. And the people who are doing that kind of work ought to be compensated for it. <laughs> I, I'm with, I'm with you on that. It's, it's like, yeah. But I also think that over the 
the years because I've been practicing 23 years. Mm -hmm. The business model for healthcare professionals or um, holistic practitioners, it, it wasn't recognized as an essential service and it's gaining its um, momentum in, uh, in a business model. And so I'm having to catch up to what is now currently people are putting money aside for their own well-being and or they're wanting the well-being enough that they're willing to pay for it. And I think that's important for the person that's paying too to say, I'm investing in myself and um, they're honoring that aspect for themselves in their body and their well-being and they recognize that they have to do the work or pay the money or um, it's not just a given it's that there is an exchange between the practitioner and the um, client in order for them to be well there's an, an, a good uh, exchange yes yes absolutely <laughs> Yes, that is that is awesome. Thank you so much for that, and um, thank thank you for for being here and for doing the interview with me. Now, if uh, people want to learn more about what you're doing and the workshops you're offering and the services that you have, what's the best way for them to contact you? Perfect. You can go to my website uh, www.birthrightinvestment.com. And my email address is there, hello at birthrightinvestment.com. Uh, I don't talk much about the my Pilates um, oste manual treatment uh, osteopathy training on there. I've been wanting to expand into my workshops, but I can be reached for my Pilates practice and um, help. glad to help people on a one-to-one -one basis or in a workshop. And I would love for people to contact me if you have a group that wants a speaker. Uh, not just go by what my uh, modules are that are on my workshops, but that if you just want to lunch and learn for your group, that I'm available to do that. And just introduce your group to what it is that I teach and not do a full workshop. So I really want to be out in the community. So I would love for people to contact me if you want a speaker and uh, I'm available. Fantastic. And I will, uh, the, the links are, the links are here. If you're watching this, the links are underneath or off to the side or however they're displayed, but the, uh, the links are uh, directly there. So, um, we're good. We're, we're good. Thank you. Um, and just thank you for tuning in and for watching our interview today. And if you enjoyed this, you can visit my website at pattyk.com for more. Have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. <laughs>